Jean's style is soft with lots of twists and turns and quirky details, dormers, handcrafted, hand hammered hardware, um, maybe some gothic details. It's really a reflection of a bygone. Well, this is an area that I would like to see a real focal point, and I think color can make a tremendous difference. The door's basically sound. The style is fine. It's a panel door, sort of a cottage style. We want to make very clear where the entrance is, so we want to use a very strong color on the door to make it obvious where the front door is. Now Jill wants to do something about the garage door, which is painted brown and has very little decorative detail. So what do you have in mind here? Well, first let's talk about the goal. If we're trying to make this house feel like a cottage, we don't want to have a garage door. We want to de-emphasize that. Well, why is that? Well, a cottage wouldn't typically have a garage door. It would have a stable door. So what we want to do is take this plain 50s garage, tilt-up garage door and make it feel like a carriage house door. The key to a cottage-style garden is a really a feeling of carefree abundance. And so the plants should be spilling out of the containers. And the beds should not look too studied. Plants should be tumbling together and spilling out of the beds as well. And it does take some time for that look to grow in, but I think we've gotten a pretty good start here. What would you do next? I'd start with the mulberry trees. They totally dominate this house. And from the street, you can't even see the beautiful things that we've done in the makeover. So the very first thing I would do, the mulberry trees have got to go. Well, with mulberries out of the way, I can do just about anything. And one of the first things I'd like to do is curve the driveway around to the corner of the property to give a softer look, and then resurface the driveway in brick, which would tie the driveway into the landing that we've just done the front step. And it would also give it more of a cottage feel and create that feel of a cottage garden. Fence. I dig out a nice deep flower bed here with a gently curving border and fill it with a mixture of the same annuals and perennials that we used on the other side of the driveway and then I'd lay a small path of flagstone to the new gate and archway. I think that'd give it the really the soft English cottage feel that we're looking for. It'll really frame the entire house. It will pull the look together and it will reinforce the cottage feel that we're trying to create here. Well, if there's one thing our viewers can take away from this and apply to their own home improvement projects, what would it be? I think it would be that if you want to create a more appealing, inviting feeling, introduce some curbs wherever you can. Curve the landings, curve the pathways, curve the driveway. Really try to break down that rigid geometry. Well, I think what you're saying really applies to this entryway. The curves seem to work really well and draw you to that nice door. Thanks. Great it's been job. Fun. Thank you.